This is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Surface Tech, and today what we're going over is how to fish thermostat wire up or down an interior wall in order to install a thermostat. So on the other side of this wall, we have clear plexiglass so that you can see what's going on when we show multiple ways to fish this thermostat wire. The first thing we need to determine is where we want to install a thermostat on an interior wall. Make sure to never install a thermostat on an exterior wall due to temperature. When possible, try to get one of the, the two mounting screws into a, a vertical stud. And so you could use a stud finder. Normally you're going to have a finished wall so you won't see these screws. And then you can just find right here is where our stud is. And so we could screw one in here and one anchor here. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the middle of this joist bay and we're going to install a nest thermostat so that you can see our wire fishing on the other side. Now we want to talk about our thermostat height. We typically install a thermostat at about 58 inches, but it really depends on the building occupant. You can go as high as 60, but in a commercial building, you want to stay below 48 inches in height in order to make sure that you have handicap accessibility for the thermostat. In this case, we're going to install this at 58 inches, so we're going to mark out and cut our hole. I don't usually drill these holes out with a drill in case there's electrical wires inside. I just use a keyhole saw and I also don't hit this in. I just twist it because in case of any nail pops that could occur. As you can see, I can go a little bit wider because I have this extra space here. So you can kind of feel around. If you feel maybe electrical wire or something like that, you can stop. And if this is not sharp, it's not going to end up cutting it. you got to be real careful when doing this on an existing wall. The next thing that we need to do is find a reference point for when we go up in the attic in order to drill down inside this correct bay. We could measure from here over to the attic entrance if it's a fairly straight shot. You could also look for grills or lights in order to reference. And the nice thing about this is that you can see the, the top plate up there in order to drill down. But if you don't know where you're at, worst case scenario, you can use an insulation hanger. You can put that into a drill and then drill up through the ceiling. The biggest thing about that is you just got to patch that tiny little hole when you're done. Here's our probe and we see our top plate so we know this is our bay so we're going to drill our hole. This is with a 7 8 speed bit. So that's through 3 inches of wood typically so you got to plan on that and make sure that you have your speed bit tight in your drill bit so it doesn't just fall down inside the joist bay. Method one involves taking the thermostat wire and pushing that itself down the wall and then we're going to grab it on the other side with a insulation hanger or a coat hanger. Now remember this is 18 six wires, so that's 18 gauge six wires on the inside. We only need five wires for a furnace and air conditioning system. If we were going to do a heat pump we would run 18 eight wire just to be safe. So I use an insulation hanger or a coat hanger and basically what you're going to do is you're going to first bend a 90 degree, something like this, and then you're going to come back here. What I like to do is give myself a reference point so I, I come straight back and then maybe another one just like this. And so that's what I'm going to use inside this wall and then I can kind of grab inside there. Now the other way to do this is with a coat hanger like this. You can just cut right here and then right here. So then we'll just kind of push this in and, and do something like that. This way we can kind of twist it and then we can go in the wall in order to, to search for our wire. So there's our thermostat wire. And so now we're going to need a pair of needle nose. So what I like to do is I like to have this at the upper part. And we're just going to push this thermostat wire up until 
We can see the end. There it is right there. Anytime you have your thermostat wire out of the wall, what I like to do is I like to kind of give it a little bit of a, a curl just to make sure that it doesn't accidentally fall back in the wall. Method number two is by using picture hanging chain and we're going to drop this down the hole and at the end of the chain we have our thermostat wire wrapped around. This is going to make it easier for us to pull the chain and thermostat wire through the hole in the sheetrock. If the hole was directly above, you may already see the chain. You can use this if you need to. In this case, we're just going to grab it and pull it right through. Method number three is using a short fish such as this. We'd fish it down the wall, and then we're going to attach our thermostat wire, and then we're going to pull the thermostat wire up this time instead of down. I make sure to bend a little bit of a 90 in the fish uh, so that I don't put it inside the wall too much, and then... You also want to have something to stop it from falling down inside the wall. In this case, I'm using the end of the coat hanger. And so here we go. So we're going to try to get our fish in the wall. I don't feel anything on that side. There it is right there. This one's more rigid than the thermostat wire. So just make sure not to scratch the wall up too much. Now we're going to attach the thermostat wire to the end of this. When you're done fishing your thermostat wire, make sure to fill this hole with your fire barrier uh, and then put your insulation back if you had to remove any. And now we're going to move on to fishing a thermostat wire up a wall. In order to drill a hole through the bottom plate, you could use a long drill bit such as this right here and that you're poking through the hole in the sheetrock. But the issue with using a drill bit such as this is you're not ever really able to make it into the center of the joist. You're almost always right up here, tight up against the sheetrock. And that's an issue because if you drill a hole right here and somebody was to replace the trim on the other side, they could shoot a trim nail right through your thermostat wire. So you may want to look at another way of drilling through this plate. You could drill a spade bit up from the, the crawl space upwards and we would want to make sure to drill that up through the center of the 2x4 uh, wall bay. The problem is you don't really have any good reference points a lot of times when you go down into the crawl space and you need to absolutely make sure that you're not drilling up through the floor. And so when you're in the crawl space and you remove the insulation here, the plywood may look bare like this or it may look like this where you have nails and you can kind of tell where the 2x4 wall plate is above it. Uh, but in the case where you're removing the insulation and you just have bare plywood like this, you may want to drill a probe down in order to verify that you know where the, the wall stud is so you don't drill through the floor, but through the bottom of the wall plate. When you have a finished floor such as carpet, it's fairly easy to just probe right through and you're not going to notice any, any issue with that. And then you can seal it from the subfloor underneath when you're done. You know, something like this, you might have to get right close uh, up to the trim uh, and then seal the top and the bottom afterwards. So you want to get as close to the trim as possible. If this is three quarters of an inch and you have half inch plywood behind it, then you're looking at about three inches from where the probe is to the center of the plate. But you always need to kind of figure out what the distance is to get to the center of your plate. With this sticking down, you can remove the insulation down in the crawl space and this probe should stick down further than the insulation so you should be able to see the location.
So remember, only use a probe. In a worst case scenario, there should be no reason to put extra holes in if, if it's open underneath and you can see like a return bay or something like that. But in the case where you have to use something like this, you can measure about three inches over if, if you know that this is half inch sheetrock and that'll get you to the center right here. The whole point is when you go in the crawl space, if this is north and to the street this way and you go into the crawl space and you know you have to measure this way north three inches and toward the street three inches. So you know which direction you need to go and then you can drill up in your bottom plate. So we're measuring three inches north of this probe right here. And so we can go ahead and drill our hole up. We have our short fish and then we have our wire right here taped on and around this loop and then we have a little cedar shim on an angle to try to hold that thermostat uh, fish in place until we get to the top side. So we're going to go ahead and, and put this up. Now we're going to head up and try to grab that fish and pull it through the hole. Now we're going to try to grab this fish. I hear it. There it is right there. So in this, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to want to have uh, this section down. So our coat hanger, insulation hanger down low, and we're going to need to fish this downwards now. So there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I always give it a little curly cue just to make sure that it does not fall back down inside the wall. After you're done running the thermostat wire, make sure to put your fire barrier sealant right through this uh, hole right here to seal it up and to make it safe as well. You don't have your low temperature air from the crawl space coming up to the thermostat and you don't have your like wet musty smell from a, from a wet crawl space. I want to show you why we don't fish from this hole down to the hole in the subfloor. I'm just going to show you what that looks like real quick. It's very hit or miss. So as you can see, it's kind of the luck of the draw. If you happen to get down inside that hole, that's why it's a lot better and easier to just fish it upwards into this hole and then we can grab it with our coat hanger over here. Next, I'm gonna mount the thermostat in and so we're gonna have this over the hole and what I like to do is I like to use these types of wall anchors instead of these type right here. Also, when I am making my holes here and here, I'm just gonna use a screwdriver. I don't use a drill because I don't wanna accidentally nick our newly run thermostat wire. I make sure to leave this kind of curly cued up so it doesn't end up falling in the wall. And so you see our holes are right here and here.
So you want to make sure that these wires are not tensioned against each other in such a way where if there is part of the jacket kind of worn, it's not going to uh, touch each other. It's not going to vibrate over time or anything like that. You want to make sure that there's nothing blocking these wire connections right here. Next, what you could do is you could add some silicone, which is non-conductive, back here in order to seal up the hole so that you don't have low temperature or high temperature air coming into the back of the thermostat, which could mess up the temperature reading of the stat. Now, in this case, we've already sealed either the top or the bottom hole where we fished the wire with our fire sealant, so it really shouldn't be a big deal because this is on an interior wall. And next, we just install our thermostat face and we're good to go. If you have a more advanced thermostat like this, you may have some settings uh, that you have to assign what type of system this thermostat is controlling. You may have a standard thermostat where it's already made specifically for a furnace and air conditioner or a heat pump or another version of a system. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to fish a thermostat wire up or down an existing wall. If you have other tips or methods, make sure to post them down in the comments section below. And if you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com where we've got quizzes, calculators, quick tips, articles. We also have our refrigerant charting and service procedures for air conditioning book. So make sure you check all that out over at acservicetech.com. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at the AC Service Tech channel.